Hi, and welcome back to Holistic Developer Channel. I'm Anna, the host of this channel. This channel is for software engineers in about software engineering, how to learn to code, how to continue to grow as a professional software engineer, how to land the job that you will be challenging and rewarding at the same time, and everything and anything about software engineering. Today, I want to present to you and talk to you about GitHub profiles. If you haven't heard about it yet, you definitely should spend 15, 20 minutes researching it and actually investing the time in creating your GitHub profile. So yesterday that I did exactly that. I spent about 40 minutes preparing and configuring my GitHub profile. I have 12 minutes before my coding interview that I have scheduled. So I hopefully be able to wrap this up in 10 minutes. So let me really quickly um, switch to a different view. And this is my GitHub profile. I had so much fun working on it yesterday. So allow me to present it to you to showcase it. It's simple and yet um, <laughs> pleasing uh, for whatever reason. Um, it doesn't have anything extraordinary. I'm introducing myself. Um, I'm stating a few facts about what I'm working on, what I'm learning, what I want to collaborate on. A fun fact, also recommending <laughs> ways for people to reach out to me, also specify the languages and tools that I'm using most. I'm using Visual Studio Code, HTML5, CSS, C++, C Sharp, C++ should be in the list, but I chose not to. JavaScript, React, Node.js, Python, Flask, SQL, PostgreSQL, Git, GitHub, Docker, Terminal, and so much more. And these icons are actually icons that I grabbed from GitHub, and you will see it momentarily when we will get into the, my my github repo there um, further down we have my latest youtube videos here and this is actively uh, being updated i have a job an action a workflow actually that is running every hour uh, and pulls the top five most recent youtube videos that i have and same is true for blog posts actually yesterday was my very first blog post that i ever done and this list should be growing. And if people want to see more, they can click on the hyperlink and get redirected to the blog post or more videos. At the very bottom of my GitHub profile um, page, let's say, <laughs> I have GitHub stats. And this is actually a GitHub repo that I'm using. And you'll see it in the moment which one it is. And it shows it showcase how many commits they have during this year, how many pull requests, how many issues, how many um, projects they contributed to an overall rating, as well as my most used languages. As you can see, about 70% of my GitHub repos are spent on a JavaScript project, CSS about 12%, 8% is Python, HTML, and so on. So, how do you get this working? So let me really quickly disable this and I will do this. I'll create a backup and I'll do backup. I'll rename it. So right now I disabled. If we go back to the profile, you will see the generic profile that everybody has. Did I do that? Yes, that everybody has like nothing out of ordinary the projects, the contributions for the year, and so on. So you can get this started by creating a new repo. I assume that you have already a repo, a GitHub repo um, account. And if you don't, I highly recommend it for you to create one. And here, the secret is that you have to name it exactly the same way that your repository handle is or account. So you found the secret, yay. Um, this is a special repository that you can use to create and add a readme for your GitHub profile. You have to make sure that this is public and initialize it with the readme file, create a repository, and this will create it. And by default it has hi there. So if we quickly go and look at this, you will see that now your profile is changed and it has hi there. So let's go and be more specific and let's update it to make it something more appealing to um, a user and kind of give it a character to present yourself, what can you do and talk about 
yourself. So let's say I'm currently working on my course um, and I'm learning, let's say, type script. Um, collaborating on, I'm looking to collaborate on open source. I'm looking to help with, okay, let's see, Docker. Talked about soft, if I knew how to spell <laughs> skills. Reach me on Instagram. Instagram. Mm, again, Instagram. And because I'm in a hurry, Instagram. I'm not sure if I spell that correctly, but that's besides the point. So you just provide the URL with your handle and so on, right? Um, let's do Instagram.com and whatever it's your handle there. Pronounce she, her, fun fact, I'm very, happy. It's a fun fact. I'm happy. So this is as simple as that. You commit it. Once you commit it, you go back to your profile and voila, <laughs> this is your new GitHub profile. So as you can imagine, if you're looking for a new job and you want people to get to know you a little bit more because the, the, the resumes are kind of dry and this is kind of one extra level or one extra way of for you to actually get um, and allow the recruiters or potential employers to get to know you better and have a general idea what can you do what kind of person you are and will they enjoy working with you so what i will do i will really quickly go back and remove this repo or i'll rename it actually <clears throat> five minutes left till next interview i'll rename it and I will go back to my backup, put it back to what it was. That's my actual GitHub repo that I created. I've seen Ziva, rename. So this is my GitHub repo that's actually being used. It's pretty simple. Let's look at readme. Let's look at in raw mode. It's a markdown. So it's written a markdown. I'm not a prof uh, if, like really familiar with it. I just looked at um, Markdown cheat sheet and I kind of was able to do this. So um, at the beginning here, welcome. I am Anna. I have a hyperlink here and the which is pointing to my URLs here. Um, also, I, this is my GIF image that you see I provide the width, the height, then a few facts about me, the icons with social media, and with the actual links when they are clicked, it will navigate to the links. Uh, again, I specified them here at the bottom. Um, the icons for YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, a globe. Then specify the languages and tools. And this is how uh, I get the icons. I'm getting it from the GitHub and it's Visual Studio Code, HTML, CSS, C Sharp, the PNGs. And then I have my list of most recent YouTube channels. And this is an action that is run every hour. I'll show it in just a moment. Um, same is true for blog posts, details. I, I'm using GitHub readme stats uh, repo to get my stats for, for my repo. And the way that I get this, the only thing you have to do is update your username. And same is true for the languages, update your username. And that's it, right? Uh, it's simple as that. And like, let's look really quickly at the workflows. It's just like the workflows is straight as forward. It's not me. I actually didn't touch this at all. This is how often it's run every hour. Um, the only thing that I updated here, I updated my YouTube channel to point to my YouTube channel and grab the videos from there. Everything else actually uh, grabbed from a different GitHub repo example. And let me show you the actions. The actions, like, as you can see, it's running like it just ran two minutes ago for the YouTube channel. It ran for 34 seconds for the blog post. It ran like an hour ago and that's it. Like it's simple as that. This is my GitHub repo. I highly recommend you to invest <laughs> in it. Um, time to create your GitHub repo. And if you're looking for inspiration or examples, here's a GitHub repo that I recommend to look. There are a lot, a tons of tons of different GitHub repos. 
uh, profile readmes that you can get inspired from. I cannot pronounce his name, but here's the awesome GitHub profile readmes. So that was it. I'm super excited about it. I'm happy that GitHub actually added this functionality. It seems to be a secret right now, but it's been around probably for three months or so. So hopefully you found this to be something useful. And if you are actually interested in creating one, uh, I would love to see what you actually end up creating. So feel free to share it in the comments below. Or if you want it to be private, find me on Instagram and DM me with your profile, read me. Uh, I'm curious to see how it looks. Make sure to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe so you don't get missing the next videos that are coming up. So you will be notified when something is coming up. Two more minutes until the interview. <laughs> I'm cutting it really short, so wish me luck. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.